hi everyone welcome back today in this video we are going to discuss cash book and we are also going to see how to prepare a simple single column cash book is that okay yes but before that we have to discuss the concept and everything so let's start with the types of cash book i know you people have already seen this in the you know the first video of the subsidiary books where i have explained that there are four different types of cash book single column cash book which we're gonna see in this video the concept as well as the problem right and then we have double column cash book cash and bank column and cash and discount column and then we have triple column cash book which includes all the columns that is cash column bank column and the discount column and then last we have petty cash book so what are we going to do is we are going to have separate videos for each type of cash book now this video is what single column cash book video all right so let's start this video and let's understand simple column cash book, the format, the concept and everything. Now see, cash book is really simple. The first question that should pop in your mind is what will be recorded in the cash book? See, it's simple. The name says itself cash book. So all the cash transactions will be recorded in the cash book. Any transaction which touches the cash balance of the business, yeah, which increases or decreases the cash, those transactions will be recorded in the cash book. Simple as that. Sir, please give us example. Fine. So listen properly. For example, let's say you have paid salary to your employee in cash. Cash is involved. So the original recording of this salary paid transaction will happen in the cash book. The first, you know, the first recording, no general entry, nothing. All right. Another example, let's say you have purchased goods in cash. Cash is involved. It will be recorded in the cash book. Let's say you have sold goods in cash. Then that will also come in the cash book. Now you don't think that cash purchases and cash sales will go into the purchase book and sales book. No, you know that you perfectly know that in the purchase book, we only take credit purchases and in sales book, we only take credit sales. If cash is involved, then those transaction has to go into the cash book, isn't it? Yes. Another example, let's say you have paid commission or royalty to someone in cash. So cash is involved. It has to be recorded in the cash book. And there will be no general entry okay no general entry directly the recording will be happening in the cash book as you have seen in the sales book and purchases book there was no general entry involved directly you were making a recording yeah in purchase book for example what you used to do mr sharma you have purchased on credit for mr sharma what you have purchased you will write that down below and directly take the amount isn't it that's how you used to record now here in cash book it's a little bit different okay we'll see that so you understood now what will be recorded in cash book yes you got it any transaction which touches the cash balance of the business those transactions will be recorded in the cash book fine yes now there's one more important thing about cash book that is it is equal to the cash account cash book and cash account is exactly same the format the way of recording how you do everything is same okay because cash book is an exception of the subsidiary books I have been telling you purchase book is not equal to purchase account sales book is not equal to sales account yeah I have been telling you this this is different subsidiary books is different and ledger accounts are different yeah these two are different things but there is an exception the exception is the cash book there is an exception cash book serves two purpose it serves the purpose of journal subsidiary book as well as the ledger account so if you are maintaining cash book in your business, yeah, if you are maintaining cash book in your business, then all the cash transactions are recorded in chronological order, in continuous order in the cash book. Okay, all the cash receipts and payments are recorded in the cash book. So you need not, yeah, you don't need to prepare a separate cash account because it's exactly similar. It's exactly similar. Let's understand this. Yeah, see here. The closing balance of the cash book, yeah, the cash account, you know, it will have the same thing. You have seen the cash account, right? In the ledger accounts video, two balance B by D, it will have debit balance. Yeah, on the debit side, you will take the opening balance and on the and the closing balance on the credit side. Yeah, you know how to do the balancing of the ledger accounts and all. It's exactly like the ledger account. No difference at all. Same. All right. So the closing balance of this cash account or you can say cash book, whatever you want, will be directly taken to the trial balance right there is no journal entry yeah no like a uh, purchase book or sales book yeah that format is not there this format is there same like ledger account all right 
so the balance will be directly taken to the trial balance now what is the format see the format over here it's so simple format see what you will do debit side credit side yeah date particulars ledger folio amount date particulars ledger folio amount so how you'll do the recording same like how you used to do in the cash account you have seen my ledger accounts video right so if you have seen that then you would definitely know how to do the posting into the cash account how you will do it directly you will do it for example let's say you have paid salary 5000 how you will do the recording simple this is my cash account cash book yeah so if i have paid the salary then of course my cash is decreasing my cash account cash is an asset account it has debit balance it is decreasing yeah credit because of salary so i will write buy salary 5000 isn't it that's how you will be doing it for example let's say you have you know uh, made a you made a sale of 5000 for example in cash so how you will record it simple cash is increasing cash account will be debited yeah it will be debited because of sale to sale like that you will do the recording okay the first recording is happening over here and then at last you will have a closing balance over here that closing balance will be taken to trial balance and there's also one important thing that you should know that is that always the debit side of cash book will be more than the credit side why is that because this is the receipt side yeah cash is increasing over here the receipts will be recorded on the debit side and on the credit side the payments are recorded cash receipts cash payments so always cash receipts will be more because you cannot pay than what you have right see here the total of the debit side is always greater than the total of the credit side why is that because the payments the cash payments cannot be more than what cash is available with you yeah it cannot be more than that is that okay so always always what will happen always the receipt side will be bigger and you will always have you know the credit closing balance but this will be a debit balance you know for the next period this will be the debit balance because you all know cash account will always have debit balance so in the trial balance in the debit column you will take this balance let's say here you have uh, 8000 so 8000 will go in the trial balance debit column you all know that right yeah and then see here what i've written over here i have written that if you are maintaining the cash book then all the cash transactions are recorded in chronological order in the cash book complete record of cash receipts and payments so there is no need to prepare a separate cash account cash ledger account is not required is that okay fine so this was the concept of cash book now let's go to the problem now see here we have the problem of cash book let's go through the question first see here illustration one of the ICS study material enter the following transaction in a simple cash book so the first transaction we have is on January 1st cash in hand 1200 what does this mean it means that you have right now in your business how much cash cash of 1200 1200 cash you have so where will you put this in the cash book you have to take this as the opening balance because this is the opening balance the cash you have in the beginning right so it will be two balance b by d 1200 in the debit side yeah on the debit side fine the next transaction is receipt from ram you are getting the money from ram how much 300 so where do you have to take this debit side because you all know in the cash account what do you do we take a receipt on the debit side and payments on the credit side so that's a receipt it will go on the debit side paid rent 30 so credit side you have paid the rent cash is decreasing on the credit side it will come sold goods for cash 300 so debit side because you're getting the money right paid to sham 700 purchase furniture yeah let's just start and let's just see okay so let's start with the first transaction that is the cash in hand so see here the cash book cash in hand how much 1200 we have in the beginning so january 1st two balance b by d 1200 because the opening balance of every asset account yeah asset account will come where on the debit side yeah there can be exceptions forget about the exceptions but normally normally in the asset account the opening balance will always be on the debit side is that okay so 1200 that's the cash you have then the next transaction is received from ram 300 so now understand properly how you will do the posting without general entry or anything how you will do this the recording in the cash book cash is increasing yeah because you receive the money from ram so cash is increasing go to the debit side because of ram so to ram account 300 is that okay do you get this yes 
next we have see here paid rent 30 so come to the cash book paid rent 30 rupees i don't know just <laughs> you know just assume that okay it's just an example illustration fine so cash book so what is happening to our cash cash is decreasing asset is decreasing that means you have to credit because of the rent that you have paid 30 okay fine next is sold goods for cash how much 300 300 rupees yeah you have received 300 by selling of the goods so see the cash account cash is increasing because of sales 300 it's simple it's not difficult you just have to see whether the cash is increasing or decreasing and then write the reason yeah two sales two ram like that the next transaction is see here on 10th of january paid to sham paid to sham 700 rupees so where it will come you have paid cash is decreasing because of sham so buy sham 700 clear easy right this is how you will do it fine the next transaction is see here purchase furniture 200 purchase furniture 200 so where it will come because of purchase your cash is decreasing so cash is decreasing because you have purchased furniture by furniture account why haven't we taken purchases account because furniture in this case is an asset they have said see here purchase furniture that means this furniture this piece of furniture is not for resale it is to be used in the business that's why we have taken furniture account if they would have said goods then we would have taken the purchases account but they have just said furniture so it is furniture account 200 is that okay fine the next transaction we have is paid salaries 100 rupees so where it will come it will come on the credit side simple man receipt side payment side okay cash is decreasing because of the salaries you have paid to the employees by salaries account 100 okay the next transaction is see here rent due yeah 31st rent due not yet paid for january so not yet paid that means this is an you know from the accrual concept you have to record this transaction but will you record this in the cash book no you will not record this in the cash book you will record that in the journal proper yeah that's the adjusting entry you will not record this in the cash book yeah you'll be recording that in the journal proper all right so it will not come in the cash book because cash is not involved now you haven't paid anything not yet paid you haven't paid anything so that's why that's why you will not take it in the cash book fine so that's it so now what you will do you will just balance the cash book how to balance the cash book you all know just make the totals right see the debit side 1200 plus 300 see here let me show you 1200 plus 300 and then again plus 300 that's equal to 1800 okay 1800 on both the side because you always know that you always know that the debit side will always be the bigger side right so blindly write 1800 on both the sides and then just deduct on this side minus 30 okay and then minus 700 200 so 700 minus sorry 700 minus 200 minus then you have 100 yeah 100 so minus 100 that's equal to 770 so 770 is the closing balance in the cash book in the cash account you can say so what is the meaning of this closing balance it means that it means that you have 770 rupees left with you in your hand okay the cash left at last on january 31st is 770 that's the interpretation in the beginning you had 1200 you received this much amount of money you paid this much amount of money so the left the balance the closing balance is 770 which will become the opening balance for the next accounting period yeah for the next month here that is february 1st 2020 so this is the debit balance yeah i have always told you that asset account has which sort of balance debit balance what does that mean it means that whenever it increases you will debit whenever it will decrease you will credit and the balance yeah it will be shown in the you know in the account the opening balance will be on the debit side yeah you will close like this okay to balance b by d so that immediately you can understand that in my cash book yeah in my cash account i have money left of how much 770 is that clear so this is how you prepare the cash book i think it was really easy all the receipts will come on the debit side all the payments will come on the credit side same like cash account and then you will balance taking the totals okay and then just deducting and finding out the 
you know where you have the shortage and that shortage yeah how much is that that would be the closing balance which will be taken to the next accounting period on the opposite side to the debit side fine so that's it for this video i hope you got this that's it see you in the next video bye